Is mining Kadena worth it? Lately, the crypto profits in general for mining are going down in every single ecosystem. If you mine Ethereum, your profits are pretty down. We're going to make a video about it. If you mine Bitcoin, your profits are also down. And a lot of people is asking me about Kadena because the profits are not that down. It's an interesting ecosystem. They have some assets that still make a lot of money, a ton of money. We're talking like $60 a day. And people ask me, Pedro, should I buy these assets for Kadena that are so expensive? Is it Kadena a good project by itself? Like, it's, I'm interested in buying it or mine it if it has a good project and his value will go up but is it actually a good project in the video of today we're going to study the project of Kadena and we're going to study the mining of Kadena if it's a good idea if it's not a good idea what it has of good what has that is bad and what can be wrong in the future we're going to try to understand the full project to get a full image and understand if it's a good idea or not to mine it or in general to invest in Kadena if you like these videos please like and subscribe because it helps a lot if you have any question at all that I didn't solve during the video you can direct us a message in Instagram and we'll respond there or you can leave a comment in here and with no more wait there we go okay so here we are and we are gonna learn first about the Kadena token in general how has it done in the past as you can see the Kadena token right now or the crypto is one dollar with 77 which may sound like very few because it spiked all the way to 20 dollars in November of 2021 in the middle of the second bull run we can call it like that and yeah it was all <laughs> already $24 and it went all the way down all the way back to $1.71 but we have to understand that before all of this crazy bull run Kadena was around 0.37 cents so it's still up pretty high uh, coming from the old bear market and what I mean by that is that it was a project that mostly nobody knew about and it got super popular in November and now is still known I mean it still has some fame it still is popular and it's like yeah 1.77 dollars also it's important to understand that the market capitalization is 300 million which is pretty big it's so one of the biggest crypto is and then rank 99 out of all the cryptos in the world but his totally diluted value is 1 billion 766 it's, it's crazy okay what does that mean it means that there's a lot of tokens of Kadena that has not been in the market yet they are not fully uh, out in the market only like 18 percent of the tokens are right now in the market and they will be coming out with time this means that is an inflationary coin which means that the more tokens there is the less the price is gonna be obviously but we have to understand that most of these tokens will be going out through the mining ecosystem okay most of it it will go out through mining i think like at least 80 percent of what is left so it's not like some venture capital fund has a lot of kadena tokens and will drop them out because normally when big venture capital funds have a lot of percentage of the coin it means that the price is gonna go tanking down because these guys as soon as they get their coins they're gonna dump them because they already are making profit they probably bought it from like 0.05 cents but in this case we don't have to worry about that because this is a mineable coin which means that most of these coins that are not outside right now are basically for miners so they will be going out as long as Kadena is mineable okay it happens the same with Ethereum so what is Kadena I have an article here it's actually in Spanish but I'll translate it for you but basically Kadena is a pro is a project of uh, public blockchain that tries to optimize scalability and that has her own language for a smart contract which is called Pact, okay what does it mean basically Kadena is equivalent of a layer one it means it has its own blockchain and their idea is to grow this blockchain so you can use it and this blockchain has something that is special it's not a project that is built on another's blockchain like those projects that are built on ethereum or are built on solana no they have their own blockchain and their idea is to build something from scratch in their blockchain to create their own blockchain which is better than anyone else it's kind of the idea kind of like solana they have very few, uh, few commission for transactions and also very important they have their own uh, smart contract language which means basically that you can have you have to learn their own language like coding language to be able to program in this uh, uh, ecosystem this language is called pact and basically it is important because this pact language is supposed to be known programmable it means like it's for random people for normal people like you and me that we can just go and code it because it's pretty easy it's not complicated it's as simple as possible that's the idea not only that but smart contracts and this is very important point in Kadena ecosystem they can have updates there is no problem with that what does that mean for example in the case 
case of Ethereum, we know that Ethereum decided to go to proof of stake. It was before proof of work. We can mine it. And now they are going to proof of stake. They have taken three years, three years to go from proof of work to proof of stake. In this case, with Kadena, they have updatable, uh, um, updatable uh, smart contracts, which basically means that they would just make like one update in the contract. And now you are proof of stake. Like they can change everything super easy, which is a great point. It's something that Solana has that it can be updatable very easily. And it's something that these old coins like Ethereum and Bitcoin, obviously they don't have and makes them way slower. So in the case of Kadena, this is a great thing actually. So the main point is that Kadena right now, it is proof of works. It means that it can be mineable, right? And their idea is to create a layer one solution. As I say, they want to create the lower part of the blockchain. Their idea is there's a lot of people who try to complicate things to make second layer solutions, which means Ethereum is not working. They make something that works over Ethereum and it makes it better like Polygon, for example. And they just want a very good base where people can build anything very easily and with a lot of facility to make transactions. Okay, that's the idea. For example, in Kadena, you have no limit for the number of transactions that you can make per second. And this is the big competition between all the layer ones. Everyone who has his own blockchain are competing for the same thing. They want to be their blockchain, the blockchain where you send money, where you create, where you build applications. In Well, until now, the first one that appeared was Ethereum or Bitcoin, but Bitcoin can only take seven transactions per second, which is super slow. Okay, it's nothing compared to Visa or to actually places where you can pay stuff. Ethereum, for example, was 30. So it was bigger at the time, but it got very, very slow. And now they changed to Ethereum 2.0, which technically is going to be able to get over 100,000 transactions per second. We don't know this yet because it hasn't been released, but that's what they are speculating. In the case of, of Binance Smart Chain, we have a hundred. In the case of Cardano, we have a thousand. And obviously, the more new the coin is, the more transactions per second they can do. The most famous one is Solana, because Solana says that they can make even 65,000 transactions per second, which is a lot. Okay, basically, it's very, very fast and very, very cheap. As you can see, the transaction fee is super cheap compared with what you got in Ethereum or in Bitcoin. And remember, when the, the network gets um, well, there's a lot of people using it. The prices go crazy. In Ethereum, you can pay $100 for one transaction. It's, it's not all right. So this project, Cadena, basically, their idea is that you can have unlimited number of transactions because they can update your, your, your uh, blockchain. So the idea is that they see a good idea in Solana blockchain and they just copy it and they put it in the blockchain and now their blockchain is better. It's, it's, it's amazing. Actually, that's a fact that I love about this project and that's pretty cool. The other thing that they have is that this uh, language for programming that I called about, uh, Pack, uh, basically, it also checks that you don't have bugs or lack of verification, which means basically in Solana and in Ethereum, but especially in Solana, they had a lot of problems because the language is kind of complicated. And there's always some hackers, some people who know a lot about programming that understand that some things are made wrong and you can exploit it and take all the money out. Especially when you have DeFi applications, they go, they send a contract request and they take all the money out because someone made a mistake. Well, this contract kind of checks itself before you can use it. So it's more difficult to have this kind of exploits and it's more difficult to lose the money, which is a very interesting thing. Okay? Okay. As I said, the most important thing is that they have an easy language to use. They want to be the home of every other crypto. The idea is to get a good blockchain, a good base and no transactions. You can see that actually in their homepage, if you go to the page, to Kadena page, basically, you can see that the main thing they have, well, right now they are trying to grow the ecosystem because it's just recently created. We'll talk about it. But the, thing, the things they always promote is safer smart contracts, which means that the contracts are safer because you are always checking for those bugs, for those exploits. No transactions, which means the transactions are free technically if you are building your app in Kadena. Actually, for the last consumer, it probably will have some cost, but it will be pretty cheap. That's the idea. Then they say that it's energy efficient at scale, which means that the more transactions per second don't make it more expensive. Uh, I don't agree with this. I just don't understand how this is going to work because in general, if it's profitable, more people is going to mine it and it's not going to be efficient because efficiency is not about the actual protocol. The protocol can work well with like two miners. Okay, like for example, in Bitcoin, there is thousands more miners than are needed, but it's because it's profitable. It's not about the ecosystem needing them. Normally when mining grows, it's because it's very profitable and people just mine. It. It's not about the actual protocol. So I don't really understand what they say in here. I really tried to research, but I don't understand what they mean. But technically it's more efficient than Bitcoin. That's what they say. As they also say, they have proven security. What does it mean? The team of Kadena, which is pretty cool actually, they come from a background in, oh, okay, I thought I have a picture in here. They come from a background in traditional finance. 
but not in finance they have a background in blockchain which means they have been building blockchains for different companies in a private way remember there is public blockchains like Kadena, like ethereum like any other project and there's also private blockchains private blockchains are blockchains that just companies uses okay like for example jp morgan and as they said they have done these two other companies and they have created different of financial services different of uh, basically blockchains for another companies like disney like I, I i know they have a lot of them in the last two years so they have experience and also the main point is that is scalable which means that Kadena can always grow can have more transactions per second and can be used as a real layer one a real base where you can grow anything basically their point is look right now there's a lot of apps that are doing nothing what we want is we want you to be able to build anything you want in our app in the easiest way possible we just like to make it easier for you so you can do it you can grow and you can make everything easy what is the problem that Kadena has right now well that is an ecosystem that just blow up as you can see until november of 2021 nobody really know about it i mean they know about it but not a lot which means there's not any application or almost any application in their ecosystem you can see that they have a decentralized exchange which is called cadex but even the exchange is, is on beta like it's, it's not even launch launch 100 like you can change maybe like what two three assets you cannot really change anything but it's true that they have made a lot of agreements with uh, for example the people from flags the people from terra even though they're already dead but <laughs> with a lot of people in the industry the people from ledger the people from Polkadot, the people from cosmos they have made a lot of partnerships inside the industry of crypto and outside of the industry they have partnership with other companies which is a good thing because it means basically that they are trying to create this ecosystem as i said the bigger problem is that for example now they have created this grant program and incubator which basically helps people to build on the kadena blockchain you can build a DeFi, i don't know a de decentralized exchange and they will help you they will put you some money but the problem is that right now you see what they have you see the team that they have for all this DeFi ecosystem all this venture capital which may, 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 may be great i'm not saying not but they don't have any projects it's like no, no nothing went out yet okay that's the biggest problem of kadena it's very 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 new okay it got popular now that's great because they earn some money so they can survive the next bear market but still i mean they used to be a zero point like 30 cents coin right and they grow so much so quickly so basically they are getting noticed now and they can be like bigger now now is the point where they can start growing okay that's the main problem of cadena that it is super new and it's not like something that is already established that you have the application in that they are earning revenue from fees like not really i mean even i mean they are in all exchange of course it's a, a very uh, common like crypto but th their products like the things that are on the blockchain is almost nothing right now we'll see when there is a starting to be products if the fees are really not there if the transactions per second are really as much as they say and all these things because right now if you don't have anything in there it's very easy to say yeah it's gonna be amazing but nobody tried it yet you know and now we're gonna talk related to this about the mining of Kadena. Is mining Kadena profitable? Is it a good idea? Well, that's what we're gonna see now. Why? Because as I said, Kadena can be mined. And why it got so popular? Because if you go to ASIC miner value, which is basically a page that tells you how much you can earn mining with different ASICs and which ones make the most money, you can see that basically top three, we have Ethereum miners, which is always on top. And then we have Kadena, KD Max. Then we have another Ethereum miner and then we have Kadena, Kadena. Like Kadena is being very, very profitable, okay? We have the gold cell mini box, which is like some small boxes that mine they are like you can put them in your house they don't bother nobody they are super small and they, they, they make profit uh there's some big miners that make a lot of money we're talking like seven thousand per year like they, they, this is crazy i mean they used to be making like forty thousand per year because kadena was so high remember kadena right now is two dollars it used to be twenty five dollars this thing was making seventy eight thousand dollars per year technically this other for example the um, kd max is making right now one thousand a month like it was making 20,000 a month. It's crazy. They were making so much money, okay? So a lot of people was telling me, hey, Pedro, I don't want to buy a normal rig or a normal ASIC for Bitcoin because, I mean, if I buy an ASIC for Bitcoin, for example, the S19 Pro, I'm going to be making, well, I'm losing money right now. Seems like that. Let's put a, a decent price for at least so we can get a decent, well, it's still, it says that you lose money. I don't know why this thing is broken right now, but the point is you make few money, okay? You make few money. With the S19 Pro, we can see it in the main page. You're making like $2 a day, okay? And these things, they're making like $40 a day, like $20 a day. Like that, that's a lot of money. That's crazy, right? So what is the problem? Is it a good idea to mine Kadena? Well, the biggest problem they have is that they're expensive as hell. If you go to the big Kadena Max, KD Max, which is like the biggest one, it generates 13,000 per year. Right now you can buy it for like, what, 20,000? 
15,000, 18,000, the, the minimum, okay? This is the bare minimum. I'm talking about the prices that I get from my Chinese contacts. Like, it's still very fucking exp like expensive. And I'm sorry for my words, I shouldn't say that. Um, it's like way more than what you are gonna make in one year. It's gonna take you more than a year to recover your money. For example, if we see the small one, these small Kadena boxes, they are making around $800 uh, dollars a year after you pay electricity. And they have a problem. They cost a lot of money. They cost $2,000. Most of the people have bought them. Bought them for around two thousand dollars obviously now they are going down but still they are super expensive and what is the problem that this is gold cell okay gold cell is a company that just creates and creates and creates and creates asics okay this is where the problem comes that they have built so many asics like yes the, now the prices are going down and you can maybe um, get your money back in one year technically if cadena doesn't go down because remember we are in a bear market and cadena can go down like i mean yeah it's on two dollars now or one dollar seventy seven can go down to 30 cents again like there's no reason why it wouldn't be okay and the most important thing is they have sold so many of these you have no idea like you can see the videos of the chinese guys selling them by like hundreds like they have sold so many asics it's very important in asics if how many they are selling you know especially with a project like kadina they so new that goes so profitable well it goes so profitable that these things these things that you see now for twenty five thousand dollars, they were selling them for thirty thousand dollars for forty thousand dollars this thing the IB Link is another company, but it also mines Kadena. It's making seven thousand dollars a year. Okay. Well, this thing is selling for eighteen thousand dollars. Okay, and it was selling for. 40,000 euros in Spain. The videos that I make in Spain, they are crazy expensive. In Europe, the same, like 35,000, 40,000, like crazy amounts of money. What is the problem? There's no way you're gonna make that money back. Obviously, this machine was making 162 euros a day before when Kadena was very up, obviously. But look at now, $22. You need to understand. Obviously, if everything goes back and like Kadena goes back to $20, well, you, you're gonna make 10x on the price of Kadena. Obviously, you're gonna make 10x on the things that you're actually earning, but they made so much many that the difficulty is only going up so you're always gonna earn less it doesn't matter if Kadena goes up down or in circles you're always gonna lose um, the quantity of Kadena that you're actually earning and the biggest problem is that you can only mine Kadena okay these ASICs they only mine Kadena if you check ASICs of Bitcoin for example I mean they can only mine Bitcoin actually because that's what people actually mine but you can mine like five six coins there's other ASICs that mine other coins but still in general uh, ASICs are made to mine only one coin and in the case of Kadena you only have Kadena, like you cannot mine other thing, okay? Which is the biggest problems of all. The biggest problem is that you are mining an altcoin. You're mining a coin that is not Bitcoin, that is probably way much more volatile and that you don't know where is the bottom. Like for example, Bitcoin can go down, but it's always gonna be the one who goes down the lowest. When Bitcoin goes down 10%, all the altcoin go down 20%. So this Kadena, yes, it went from $20 to $1 already, which is like 90% down. It can go 98% down, like it's, it can still go down. It mean that because it went down it cannot go more down it can go way down okay that's the real problem Kadena is it a great project well here we come to the conclusions I think it's a very interesting project to be honest I like the project I like the blockchain that they are creating the no transaction fees the people who is behind it even though I cannot find the page right now uh, I really like it to be honest uh, maybe here in about we can find it but I feel like it's people who has yeah it's these guys basically they, they have experience okay it's not like you see they have worked with the sec they have worked with JP Morgan with Disney with Twitter with Tech with Apple like they are not some guys who just built a random blockchain like it's, it's a good company okay it's a good company but that doesn't mean that it's gonna like work okay it doesn't have to work because if people are it's not interested they run out of money everything goes to hell okay it doesn't have to work in bear markets only the best companies survive I think it's a very interesting project to be completely honest but I think the mining the ones who are earning the money is the ones who are building these miners it happens similar to Bitcoin but if you buy for example a miner of Bitcoin let's say you buy I don't know let's say the S19 Pro as I said even though I don't know why the electricity thing is not working but let's say you buy that miner okay you're mining uh, with a miner that is making only technically two dollars a day uh, technically nine hundred dollars a year but this miner Right now let's say it's like four thousand euro okay because they went down a lot in price actually but anyways the point is when you're buying this you're expecting bitcoin to go up that's what happens when you mine bitcoin I'll, I'll make a video specifically about it but in general you expect bitcoin to go up but the main point is you're mining bitcoin you're not mining a kadena i mean yes bitcoin of course it can go down of course it will gonna have volatility but it's a coin that you know is gonna keep existing kadena maybe disappears i mean you don't really know you know if you like the project amazing but it's not bitcoin that's the reason why people mine bitcoin 
Bitcoin because Bitcoin is Bitcoin, is Papa, you know, it's the only guy that you know is going to be here next year, it's going to be the next year also here, then the next, the next year, it's going to still be here. Maybe it doesn't have the price that it used to have, but it will be around. But Kadena, mm, you don't really know. I mean, it's so new, it's so new that you really don't know if they are going to be here or if they are going to go back to the prices they used to have. Maybe they never go back to 20,000. And these guys, I swear to God, they are selling so many that the difficulty is going up like exponentially because they sold so many of these smaller ones, especially for people who just, you just put it in your bedroom. You're making literally nothing because you're not making a lot of money and you're spending a lot of money because they are $2,000. But it's like cool for them. It's like, oh, I just have a minor here. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't make noise. You know, it's like, I think it's like 20 decibels, 35 decibels. Normally they make like these things, like the big ones, they make like 70 decibels. Okay, you don't want that in your house. So they sold a ton of them and that made it very unprofitable. The ones who made all the money is gold sell. Okay, gold sell has made a ton of money with this. Not only with this, but there's some like small things like this for Dogecoin. They also made a ton of money with those. Like it's just crazy how much money they can make with those small things just because people like them. Okay, like you can see here, let me try to find any of the Dogecoin ones. Um, yeah, this one, for example, LT Lit. Okay, well, okay, it doesn't have a picture, but this one seems to be one of the smaller ones. It is a very small miner and they make nothing. They don't really make anything. But the point is that people like them because they are cheap. So at the end, it's a good idea to mine Kadena on these things. I would personally not do it. It's not a, well, it's not a financial advice or investment advice, but I think it's very risky. Okay, Kadena can go down. It has a nice project, of course, but we don't know how good it is. And it's not Bitcoin. It doesn't have the security that Bitcoin has. It's not that I'm a fanboy of Bitcoin, but the truth is the truth, and Bitcoin is the last one to fall. You can see in the prices of everyone, Kadena has gone down like 90%, and Bitcoin has gone down, of course, it has gone down is right now in 19,000, which is crazy actually. But in total, how much has gone down? Because it was almost 70,000, let's say it went like 75% down, and this one went 90% down. They are always going to go more, you know. At the end, you know, on the long term, we know that Bitcoin will probably work uh, as an investment, uh, but we don't know if Kadena is going to be around in the next bull run, you know. Maybe yes, maybe no. Probably yes. I like the team. As I said, I think it's interesting, but I wouldn't put the amount of money that these things cost because they cost a lot of money. They keep going down, they cost $1,000, then I'll think about it because I think they are cool machines actually, and I think mining Kadena is actually very interesting in my opinion but it's not a good idea especially with how expensive they are because this thing as i said cost twenty thousand dollars like it's very expensive miner it's not a cheap miner okay and i think they are going to keep going down because profitability is going to keep going down and they just will go down 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 that's my personal opinion as i said it's just an opinion this is an instructive video does it mean I don't like Kadena? It's the opposite. I really like the project. I think it's very interesting, but I think it needs a lot of time to start bringing people in, start bringing people in the ecosystem and actually build something because the next bull run will be built on something new, something different, not just the same DeFi as last bull run. Every bull run, there's a new narrative, there is a new story. And I think Kadena can get that if they bring the, uh, well, the right people. And I think it can grow a lot. I like the ecosystem. I like the idea, the base that they have the experience. That's a good thing. And uh, well, we'll have to see how it goes, but I think it's pretty cool. And here you can see all the people people and what they did like for real it's people with experience i like the project which doesn't mean that i like the mining and also any point they can just change the mining which is an important point but we are not going to talk about that now but as you like, like you can just understand that because they have smart contracts that can be updated if they decide to go proof of stake tomorrow they are proof of stake you cannot mine anymore so that's another risk you have to take into account with that we are going to finish the video i hope you like it i hope you thought it's interesting to know about kadena i think it's a very interesting project and a lot of people have asked me for it so yeah that's why i did this video i hope you like it if you like it please like and subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next video goodbye